Dr. Kristen here. Today I wanted to talk with you guys and share um, some tips for you. So it's a six part, so six tips for healthy desk sitting. Yes, we want to make sitting at a desk as healthy as possible for your body to kind of, if we can, eliminate and prevent some of those aches and pains that um, sitting at a desk for eight to nine hours a day can do to your body. Um, so we're just gonna kind of go through, this. these are things that I talk with my patients about all the time. Um, trying to take as much stress off their body during their nine to five job um, if they are forced to be sitting at a desk for that amount of time. So one of the biggest things that we discuss is awareness. Um, you need to understand um, and be aware of how your posture um, and how everything can affect your spine, your muscles, um, and how the posture can give you headaches. Um, things like that so it's important to be aware of what's going on when you sit at your desk um, that's the first step and that's something that I talk to extensively um, with my patients about um, so the first part is being aware um, the second part is ergonomics so the way that you're sitting at your desk um, giving proper training to my patients you know um, making you making the workstation fit you is super important um, so we're looking at, you know, where are your monitors placed? Where's your keyboard? Where's your mouse? Um, where is Where are your feet compared to the floor? So making your chair and everything, um, your workstation really fit you um, so that we can, again, prevent kind of the looking down, the reaching one way versus the other, um, you know, get our, get our chin up, um, things like that. So the, the second part um, to healthy desk sitting is the ergonomics. Um, just understanding that and getting some training um, by myself and um, getting that fixed so that we're taking as much stress off of our body as we can throughout the day. Um, the third part um, for healthy desk sitting is taking micro breaks. Um, we should be setting timers every 30 to 60 minutes to, you know, get up, do some stretching um, that I give you. Um, and it doesn't even have to be, you know, 10 minutes of stretching. It could be a quick, here's some five minutes worth stretching, or you know, you take a micro break, you get up, you walk to go get some more water, you're, um, instead of emailing a colleague, you know, you walk to their office to tell them um, what you need to tell them, you walk to go to the bathroom, get a drink, just every 30 to 60 minutes, try and take a little micro break, get up, um, move around a little bit, and for some of my patients, it does take um, you know, setting a timer on your phone. Um, once, you know, when we're working, we're getting sucked into our work that we just need a little buzz, like, hey, it's time to move, time to move. So um, set an alarm um, every 30 to 60 minutes and get moving so that we're not sitting in the same posture stuck into our work um, for that eight, eight, eight hour stretch. Um, so the four, fourth part into the strategy is body positioning and awareness. Um, so a couple of things that we really try to focus on, and this doesn't even just um, apply to when you're sitting at work, but for everything that you do is just being more aware of your body positioning um, when you're doing things. So a couple of the tips that I like to give is sternum up. So at all times, try and make sure that our sternum is up because what's that doing? You already saw my posture change. It is already affecting my posture by just making sure that my sternum is up. So every time I feel that it's down, pull back up. So that brings your shoulders back and it brings um, a better posture, brings your head back. Um, so this is really good to do even when you're lifting things, you know, just making sure that um, your sternum is up and it'll kind of correct the posture on its own. Um, the second thing is a power zone. So what the power zone is, is it's kind of from below the shoulders and into the waist. So we wanna keep everything that we're lifting, everything that we're holding, everything that we're doing in this power zone um, and kind of keep it close to your body. Um, so that just helps um, kind of all your power is right there. So when it when we're doing stuff, we're not overexerting or using muscles that we shouldn't be. Um, like when we're going to lift, keep it close to your body in that power zone, you know, not too low, not too high. Um, that's where we have all of our strength. Um, and then the third thing is abdominal bracing. So even when you're sitting at work, just make sure that you're having like this muscular corset. Um, activated so I do this all the time we talk about belly breathing that's really good um, core activation um, and abdominal bracing without sucking in we don't want you to suck in or bear down that's not bracing um, that abdomen and not creating a good core so 
again, I stress core a lot in, in my practice and it's really big on making sure that everything is moving like it needs to and you have the stability around the, lo the lower back. So the fourth part of a healthy desk sitting is body position and awareness. And then the fifth one is proper posture. So again, all of these kind of relate to one another because you know the body position and awareness is working on um, proper posture. So like I said, stirring them up, you're automatically getting better posture. Um, but just having awareness and um, proper posture also um, means you know, doing a lot of work in the office to kind of strengthen certain muscles and release tension in other muscles that will help um, kind of create that posture to make it just something that is um, subconscious for you. Um, so that has to do with a lot of what we do in the office and some of the homework that I give you. Um, just working on focusing, strengthening those postural muscles so that it's second nature for us to kind of have good posture. Which leads us to number six. Um, the sixth part of a healthy desk sitting is corrective exercises. So we know, again, beyond the posture exercises, um, strengthening those weak muscles that just happen to occur because we sit all day. Um, those weaknesses that we can procure can actually affect, you know, the things we do outside of the office. So whether you like to go out and run on the weekends or lift or exercise or pick up your children, um, getting an all around corrective exercise program um, can help strengthen those areas and can actually help you outside of just desk sitting as well because we know um, sitting at a desk, you're, you're just automatically going to um, weaken some of those areas because you're not using them. Um, so a corrective exercise program really helps um, inside the office but also outside to kind of strengthen some of those areas. So I'm gonna recap for you real quick. Six part strategy for healthy desk sitting. Number one, awareness. Number two, proper ergonomics. Number three, mic micro breaks. Number four, body position and awareness. Number five, proper posture. And number six, corrective exercise. So I'll be writing a blog about this so you can actually read it, um, but I wanted to kind of just talk with you about some of the things that um, I talk about with my patients some helpful tips that you can start incorporating today. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.